What is up, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another episode of Unreal Creations, our series of epic games where we try and highlight Fortnite creatives and devs out there and their amazing creations in UEFN. As per usual, if you guys have anyone who wants to showcase their maps or islands, please hit us up because this one might ring a bell for a few of you guys out there in case you like games like Pictionary or Draw with Friends. It's more of a party or group style game all made within Fortnite, but it's called Fortionary. So my name's Matt Eastep. I'm a UEFN creator. I do everything from first coding to some UI design, a little bit of 3D modeling I'm getting into. And uh, primarily right now working on a lot of commissions, working with people like Zychology. I'm doing a project with Disc and uh, some other pro players. I was ready at that point. And so when talking about the map we have today, uh, one of a few that I stumbled across of yours, but we've been looking at, at a lot of freaking maps. Can you uh -huh. talk to me? I would, I'm, I'm assuming what your answer is going to be, but can you walk me through like what some of the inspiration was from this map? Uh, yeah. So obviously the name Fortunary, it's play on word of Pictionary and Fortnite, but it's actually much more closer to an online game called Draw My Thing, um, which is pretty much just like a round based. Uh, you have players in the game. Each person takes a turn drawing and then everyone else tries to guess what the drawing is. And the faster you guess, the more points you get. And so, yeah, it's a little bit of competitive, a little fun, just, you know, being able to draw. It's it can be funny when you know you get something that's too hard and you can't draw it and you're in a call with your friends. And um, I was working with Zychology a lot and we wanted to pivot off of doing kind of more practice or competitive style games and just something a little more fun, lighthearted. And uh, that was kind of the first idea that I had. And once I figured out it was possible, because, you know, UFN is still pretty limited right now. So I um, figured out it was possible and we yeah, just ran with it. Yeah, I kind of like it's more like a party style, you know, like I I've played mm -hmm. Draw My Thing with a uh, I played that game with my friends. We've all hopped in a Discord call, have a few drinks, sit back, relax, yep. and, and, and just struggle together. And so the concept is pretty simple. Get you and all your buddies in a Discord or a call together and play a little Fortionary as one of you gets to draw and the others get to guess exactly what's going down which of course as per usual in any online game this can result in um a lot of things i'm sure being drawn and it's a super fun party style game and it just allows you to just chill with friends and have a good time and i love these kind of simple concepts we see a lot of them throughout uefn creations that have that high replayability and get a group together and if you want to play it on fortnite or if you can play it online or anything nowadays that you can play online, you can probably play in Fortnite. So when did you first see a bit of success with this idea or when did it first like strike you as like, oh, we can do something a bit outside the box compared to your typical maps? I can't remember exactly what it was at the time, but we started seeing some other games kind of pop up. Like I know the Tycoon started doing well um, and just some other kind of like party style games kind of getting outside of the realm of Fortnite started to kind of pop up. But once we kind of saw that in and I had this idea, we figured, you know, this would be something that everyone could play. Everyone would want to play really good playtime. You know, everyone wants to sit there and be the next drawer. They want to be the fastest to guess. It's definitely been that way. I mean, it's funny. You can load into lobbies and sometimes people are just sitting there and dancing with each other and putting sprays on the floor and not even playing the game. You know, it's like almost like just like a little community area with like a game involved when you want to play it. And a fun fact about this dev who had this idea he is not only a computer engineer who graduated and then went on to work for Amazon he actually shortly quit his time with Amazon to pursue making games and islands in Fortnite which I thought was wild we, we've talked to a lot of devs out there with really cool stories and this fits that same storyline oh yeah so I uh, graduated college uh, last year in May um, with a bachelor's in computer engineering Worked full time at Amazon as a software engineer for six months. And uh, by January, I was ready to do this full time. So I went ahead and uh, quit only six months, you know, in the real working world. But hey, <laughs> OK, so computer engineer, one of my one of my best buddies and roommates was computer engineer. So I can get a good grasp of how smart you actually are. So computer engineer and Amazon, but you decide mm -hmm. to pursue this instead. Job at Amazon is amazing. You know, it's what a lot of people in uh, software strive for out of college. Um, so I was like very blessed to be in that position. So I wasn't going to give it up easily. So once I had a, at least a few months, felt the consistency, uh, I, I was ready at that point. Any advice you would have for like up and coming creators who stumble across your projects and are like, oh, like I wonder, and maybe they're years behind. And by the time they get in, UEFN is this whole new thing. Any, mm -hmm. any words of advice for those maybe wanting to pursue this now or in the future? What a lot of people get just uh, getting into game development in general is just start creating. The best way you're going to learn and get better the fastest is having some idea, having some issue and just working through it and getting through the more issues you run into and the more things you solve, the better you're going to get, the better your games are going to get. And then, uh, yeah, just 
post them, see what people think, get a lot of feedback, you know, that's what's going to help you progress the fastest. And I think uh, even if you're getting into it late, you can easily catch up as long as you're, you know, really into it, put the time in and um, use your time wisely. So as per usual, we hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of Unreal Creations. If you guys know of any creators out there who want to showcase their ideas or islands to us, we would love to cover their stories next. We hope, as always, you guys enjoyed this episode. And until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.